With Tsukihime Remake finally coming out over in Japan, and with there being no announcement of an English release ever happening, good old Sea Tactics has got you, fam. Easily, the best adaptation of Tsukihime is actually from a manga, at least one we can read, which is like the complete opposite of Studio Dean's fate being way better than the Fate Route manga. Weird! Anyways, this manga was actually my introduction to the world of Tsukihime, and then it was the anime and finally the visual novel. Yes, I am actually mentioning the anime here because I did a video on it, which you should check it out. But it wasn't until recently that I was able to even play through the Arcade route, and let me tell you, it isn't nearly as good as this manga. Many of the issues I had with Arcade's route in the visual novel seem to be completely fixed or just non-existent in this adaptation. This is an oddity, as you'd think the source material would be more well-rounded, but that's just not the case at all. And I do want to preface before we go any further that I am a huge fan of Tsukihime and its visual novel routes, but to be fair, some stuff hasn't aged well at all. Nasu's writing has always been known to be overindulgent, wordy, and freaking long from time to time, but also so fucking great. But that insane amount of detail is what makes Nasu's writing so good and immersive. What's good about this adaptation is the manga doesn't cut out details. Instead, taking advantage of the medium of manga, Sasaki keeps a lot of detail by adding it in visually, and thus is able to cut down on dialogue and present a well-paced experience. All in all, they didn't have to sacrifice much of the overall experience that Tsukihime offers, and on top of that, with its superior art, creates a favorable presentation over that of the original visual novel. Some more examples of changes I enjoyed were Nervink Sir, I think, becoming Narrow Chaos. It's a small change, but the dude's original name looks like what happens when you drop a whole gallon of LSD from a milk jug. Other than that, Narrow Chaos, while being an equally cringy name, is way better than Nervinxer, or however you pronounce it. I mean, he does live up to his name, he pretty much kills a hotel full of people. If that isn't chaos, then I don't know what is. But speaking of chaos, the grittiness of this manga is turned up from the visual novel, but in smaller details. For example, when Shiki is helping Arcade bandage her wounds, they go into details on how she used packing tape to seal her wounds, and show it. Arc taped herself back together, and the sight and thought of her doing such things are, well, disgusting. All in all, these are more examples of things that just existed in text, but now through manga can be shown rather than just said. This brings me into the manga's art. And I'm not gonna lie, I like the original the same as the manga, but l let's be real, in 2021, on my 1080p 144Hz PC monitor, this stuff be looking jank in comparison to the manga's crisp art. This manga is simply beautiful, and that's thanks to Shonen Sasaki's hard work. It's also brutal as well. In chapter one, Shiki murders Arcwade, and you see all that detail. How his knife sliced through her neck like butter, him vomiting from the horrific sight, and the pool of blood her scattered body parts lay in. Compare that to the visual novel, and it's some flashes and lots of descriptive text on how he felt like his body became an ejaculating reproductive organ as he cut her into pieces. Granted, that's pretty metal as fuck, but I much prefer th this over the visual novel because, well, it also doesn't take hours to get to that scene. This is in chapter one of the manga. In my original review of this manga, I praised this manga for its romance between Shiki and Arcwade, and for many years, I even considered this to be my favorite romance from a manga. Well, now, three or four years later, I can safely say uh, the, <laughs> this isn't the case, but in terms of Nasuverse, it is still my favorite. The pairing of Shiki and Arcwade is Fun. The juxtaposition of having such a serious and edgy character like Shiki with the lighthearted vampire princess who could be quite edgy herself but also kind of a dumbass is a pretty good one. Though I will say that there are some things here that I think don't work anymore. For one, Shiki's age in comparison to Arcwade's is rather strange to me these days. Shiki is a high school student and Arcwade is 800 years old, so there's just kind of a weird disconnect there for me. And it's not really just because of the age gap, it's just because he's a he's a high schooler, he's not even fully grown yet. As well, these two fall in love pretty quickly. Ten chapters into the manga and Arcwade is already starting to wonder why she's cooking Shiki's food in the morning. It goes further when she trusts him immediately and wonder why she feels weird around him. It's small things like that where the pacing of this manga also works against it. 
Otherwise, Shiki and Ark, man, they're a great ship. It's also worth noting that while the sex scenes from the visual novel are for the most part gone, yeah, yeah there, there's still sex to be found here, sadly. I wanna talk now about CL because she's always been a character that's had a special place in my heart. And really all I wanna say is that she absolutely slays in this manga. And I was so surprised because, you know, I'm used to seeing CL in the way the VN presents her. So to go back to this manga after so many years and see this side of CL again, ha, yeah, I'm on board. I hope that one day we actually get a manga of CL like, like in the form of this manga, maybe based on her new route for the Tsukihime remake. Speaking of which, God damn it, they still need to translate it to English or I'll cry, I'll do it. I don't care, I'll cry. I can do it on command. Now, no, 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 we're, no, we're just going to ignore this because uh, well, I don't read Japanese. I mean, tried to do Duolingo, but like I got to level two and then I gave up and that was like a year and a half ago. <sighs> and that stupid bird still won't stop leaving notifications on my phone. Overall, give this manga a shot if you haven't. This is one of the finest manga I've ever read, and four years later, I still feel that way. As well, this is the best manga adaptation of a Nasuverse story I've ever read. It's paced in near perfection for most of it, has an exciting and immersive setting, and easily has my favorite characters in Tsukihime kicking ass and taking names. Plus, if you read the visual novel for Tsukihime, you seriously need to read this manga. It's how Arcwade's route should be presented, and does a better job all around than the visual novel ever did. So please go and read this wonderful manga. But before you leave, please support the Sea Tactics by considering becoming a patron or channel member to get your name on the board. As well, you can further show support by buying merch from my Teespring or simply sharing out my videos with your friends or even more simple, joining my Discord server and becoming a community member. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.